What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to do custom holographic textures. Dread Labs. Okay, so um, this will be a fairly quick tutorial because it's quite easy frankly. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to Filter, Render, Clouds, and now you have this uh, cloud texture. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to Filter again, you can go to Liquify. Um, so you want to get a big brush and basically uh, distort this so uh, you will get this marble liquid effect. It should be alright. Okay, um, so now that we have this, uh, we want to go to filter again, go to Gaussian Blur. And blur this so it doesn't really look... Um, uh, so basically you blur this until you can't really make out any details anymore. Then you're going to go to adjustments, click on curves. You want to get a bit more contrast in this basically. So um, a bit like this should be fine for now. Um, so what you want to do right now is you want to go to a gradient map. And then you want to click on this gradient. And basically you want to go and... Um, pick some different kinds of uh, pastel colors or um, holographic colors basically um, so let me show you what I mean by that uh, we're gonna pick a light pink and on the end we're gonna pick a cyan <coughs> in the middle maybe a, a little bit of a really subtle green um, maybe a bit more purple pinkish And then on the end, we're going to make it white a bit. Um, so, I don't really like this green, basically. And this is basically a bit experimenting, guys. Um, just see what works and what doesn't. Um, there's really no rule for this. Because um, an iridescent or holographic texture is basically all uh, reflecting light, so every color, um, uh, every color can be seen from these textures. Um, so it's just what you want to show, and mostly that's like pink, pastel, cyan colors. Um, so I would use these uh, as your base, and then experiment and yeah, see where you go from there. It's also important to um, keep a bit of space between these because um, if you close them in, they will start turning a really bit. Um, they're starting to look a bit weird. Um, so I'm gonna change this white to maybe another like purplish color, and then this white maybe into a little subtle blueish as well. Mm like this um, alright so now you have this texture and it kinda already looks a bit hologra more holographic but it's too um, distorted so what I usually do once I got this is we're gonna select all of the layers convert to smart object um, and we can either like resize this a bit so for example like this and uh, now we're gonna try and see if we can blur this uh, to reduce the details in there um, because as you can see these gradients are kinda like a bit too much visible you can see the color uh, transition too much um, so uh, we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur I'm gonna blur it a bit more and depending on what you wanna use this for you can go to adjustments and make a bit, little bit brighter with the curves like this uh, or you know like you can make it more subtle if you want to basically so I hope this tutorial was a bit helpful for you. Um, if you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them in the comments or join us on Discord. The link will for the, the link will be in the description. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.